In 1951, Henrietta Lacks, a young mother of five, sought medical intervention at the Johns Hopkins Hospital due to vaginal bleeding. A renowned gynecologist, Dr. Howard Jones, noticed a sizable malignant tumor on her cervix. At that time, the Johns Hopkins Hospital was one of the few institutions providing medical care to economically underprivileged African-American patients. While Mrs. Lax was undergoing radiation treatment at the hospital, a biopsy of her cancerous tissue yielded a sample that was sent to the nearby lab of Dr. George Gay, a prominent cell biologist working at Johns Hopkins. Dr. Gay soon realized that, unlike cells obtained from other patients, Henrietta Lacks' cells exhibited astonishing behavior. While other cells eventually perished, Henrietta Lacks' cells underwent relentless cell division and doubled in number every 20 to 24 hours. Johns Hopkins subsequently named these cells HeLa cells, after the first two letters of Henrietta Lacks' first and last name. The entire controversy surrounds the non-commercial and commercial use of HeLa cells without the prior consent of the patient, Henrietta Lacks. Moreover, although Henrietta Lacks' identity was not initially disclosed in scientific publications, her name became widely known subsequently, leading to less desirable consequences for her family. According to critics, the book by Rebecca Skloot is far better than the movie starring Oprah Winfrey. Although worth watching, the movie somehow focuses more on Oprah and less on Henrietta, according to many. The book, on the other hand, combines key elements of storytelling and scientific writing. It also describes the science of cell culture research. However, the book's primary focus is on narrating the human story of Henrietta Lacks and her family. In fact, the book has received recognition for its ability to simplify complex scientific concepts and ethical issues while narrating a compelling and deeply human story. Long story short, the HeLa cell controversy underscores the importance of informed consent and patient privacy. In addition, the legal battle fought by the family of Henrietta Lacks has raised awareness and redefined the ethical landscape of research involving human tissues. Henrietta Lacks passed away on October 4, 1951, at the young age of 31. However, her cells continue to contribute indefinitely to the world of biomedical research. By the way, did you know that the NIH committee overseeing the use of HeLa cells in NIH-funded research now includes two members of the Lacks family? In addition, to pay respect to Henrietta Lacks and to make up for its now historical error, Johns Hopkins Medicine is constructing a new building in honor of Henrietta Lacks. In 2023, Thermo Fisher Scientific, the world-famous biotech company headquartered in Waltham, Massachusetts, reached a settlement with the family of Henrietta Lacks. On a related note, the book's author, Rebecca Skloot, is the founder and president of the Henrietta Lacks Foundation. She has a bachelor's degree in biological sciences and a master's degree in creative nonfiction. Subscribe to SciTech Vault for engaging stories that matter.